Hey, good morning. Happy Thursday. It is that time of the week again. I know that you all are getting ready for the weekend and you're wanting to know um, some tips on the dating scene. And I am going to give those to you as soon as I can. Here we go. I'm going to share this to my page, my personal page, and we'll get going. If of course it will work. And why is this work doing this? Uh, it's, technology is not my thing, people. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, no. And uh, so, here we go. No. I am gonna do it from here. Sorry, people. This is technology for you. I, it's always a problem for me. Always something, right? I know you all can relate. But of course, if I was 10, I'd be able to do this. All right, here we go. Now we got it. And I want to make sure that everybody gets my message. Okay. So... Good morning, everybody. This is Just Steph, and it's the Just Steph Show. Everybody has two lives. The second one begins when you realize you only have one. The second life is where empty nesters, newly single, and those starting over age three, your healthy, happy, hip years are just beginning. I have a big shout out to my boy Virgil and Vinyl Groove. Um, they are playing. If you're in Boston this weekend, Vinyl Groove will be at uh, Renzo's uh, tonight at 8 o'clock. That's the beach. He'll be at the Marina Wharf on um, Friday night for 8.30 and the Continental on Saturday night at 8.30. So go say hi to Virgil. Tell him Just Steph sent you. Love, Virgil. And, of course, if you would like me to advertise for your business here on Facebook, please just private message me and we'll get you in touch with the right people that can make that happen for you. Okay, so this is dating advice for second life and it's the Just Steph Rules of Dating. Okay, here we go. So if you are over, I don't know, 20, but maybe uh, I'm really speaking to the over 40 crowd, the almost 50 crowd, I wanna talk about a little thing called the cat and mouse game. It's a little chase where like, you know, you text them and then they go away or they come back and you, that little, if you pretend you don't like them, after you, blah, 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 blah. Well, first of all, game playing is for babies. So I'm going to say that right out. If you are playing games, you need to get out of the dating game and go back to the playground, especially at 50 years old. So I want to tell you about my experience with this because it just happened to me. And I thought it was ironic. So um, I met this and I was not overly into going out with them because my mind and heart were somewhere else but that's okay I said oh but that other person wasn't in my I'm just kind of you know testing the waters in the whole dating scene so seeing what's going on and seeing what will work for me anyway so I went out very cute very nice very sweet awesome guy you know, bright, good conversation, really a lovely evening. I was in Boston, so dropped off at my mom, really nice, just great. Then, uh, you know, we were talking back and forth, and I was trying to scare him. I was like, I'm going to make this guy not like me. I'm going to make him not like me. So um, I basically, uh, when I saw him on Friday, I just threw all my pulling syndrome stuff at him and which I never do and I and he's like oh I think I like you more and so whatever just kind of just threw it all out at him threw out all my stuff about you know my my woo woo stuff my spiritual stuff and and all of that and that you know he had wanted to go out with me on Tuesday and I was at church so I said no you know all of this stuff so that he would be scared of me and so um 
he ended up meeting me out on Sunday night and I was with my girlfriend. He's talking to her, telling her I like her. She's trying to scare me, but I'm not going away. She says, Steph, why don't you give him a chance? He has no baggage. He's got nothing going on for like that. And he likes you. And it, I said, all right, maybe I'll give him a chance. So we went out to dinner and I said, okay, I'm going to give you a chance. I like you. All right. And then I'll, this is what I got. Whoa. So guess what? If you want to scare somebody, just tell them you like them and that you want to go out with them. Because obviously I found a way to scare them away from me because I haven't heard from them since, since dinner on Monday. And I scared them. So, which is no sweat off my back. But the thing is, is I find it very ironic and funny that he said he, I couldn't scare him. I couldn't scare him. I couldn't, you can't scare me. You can't scare me. I'm not going away. So this is this mouse, cat and mouse game. And I thought, I'm not playing this game. I'm not doing it. So if you guys are involved in anything that's happening with, I don't think this should be a problem. Like if they're your person, if they're your match, if they're your guy, you, if they're your girl, it doesn't matter you text them or call them you want to be with them you know it's okay like it's okay it doesn't matter that you just met if you like somebody the best way to get to know them is to be around them to talk on the phone to text to be together to go out and to do things and that's the only way you can get to know if you really want to be with this person long term if you're looking for a long-term relationship which is what you know I am I would like you know a long-term relationship I don't want to be alone I'm getting, I'm not getting any younger and my kids are getting older and they're grown and most of them are grown. I got one that's going to be out the door in a couple of years, you know, so, and I, and I know a lot of you second lifers are like that, uh, like me, you know, you're empty nesters, you're out in the dating world and you're finding that there's this game playing going on. It's a game. It's, it's a game. And, and to me, you shouldn't be playing with that kind of stuff. It's, it's playing with fire. You're playing with people's emotions. You're playing with people's hearts. That's so bad. That That's really borders on mean-spirited as far as I'm concerned. A little evil to me. You know, when you start playing with people's hearts and their feelings and, and you know, playing these kind of games, I think that it's not nice. It's very, very bad. And luckily, I'm in a good place where I just really don't care um, because, you know, I'm not vested. But, you know, if, you know, if I, if, if this happened and I really liked him and wanted to really want to be with him, I would feel bad. I would feel bad that this happened. But you know what? Oh, well, right? But the thing is, is you're playing games. At almost 50 or 50 or 55, I'm not going to call them. I'm not going to text. I'm going to see what they do. I'm going to see if they come after me. They'll come after me. That's so wrong. If you want to be with somebody, you pick up the phone and you call them. You pick up the phone and you send them a text and say, hey, I'm thinking about you. What are you doing? I'm thinking about you. When can I see you again? I'm thinking about you. What are we doing? That's what you do. Be real, for God's sake. What is wrong with people? What is wrong with people that you have to play games? Like, there's no rule that you can't put rules on love. You can't put time, time on love. You, you can't. You can't. It, it's just the heart wants what the heart wants. And if you don't listen to that, you're not going to be living your best life. I'm not saying that you have to get married and move in after the first date. I'm not saying you should. I'm saying give it a try, but don't play games. Be real. Be who you are and don't play with people's hearts and emotions. That is so wrong. Because, you know, and here's the thing. The funny thing about all this in my situation is, is I can read people. So I know what's going on over there. I already know. And you know what? He's not so scared about, he's a little scared about getting a broken heart, like a little bit. But his biggest worry is that I'm going to cramp his style. 
You know why? Because I might, you know, I, you know, I'm not getting in the way of his kids because he has none. I'm not getting in the way of his wife because that's ancient history, not even an, an issue. What I would be getting in the way of is nothing. His drinking buddies. I'm not getting in the job because he's retired. How's that? There's nothing to get in the way of except his life, the way he's living right now. And you know what? Oh, well. If I'm not in, if, if you, me, and anybody else, if you're not bringing value, if they don't feel you're bringing value to their life, that it's worth bringing you in, then they're not your person. Move on. Move on. Because if they don't, you know what you bring to the table. I know what I bring to the table. I bring value to the table. And if they can't see that in you, then they're not your person. They're not your match. So, oh well. It's, it hurts. It could be painful. But you can do it and you can move on and find someone who finds value in you that wants to be with you, that doesn't play games, that is an adult, that has their big boy boxers on, their big girl panties on, and they're ready to meld your world so that you can be together and really have an enjoyable time getting to know each other and being together and having that partner, having somebody to watch movies with, to cook with, to have a glass of wine with, to have some drinks with, to go out with, to do whatever, whatever. Just somebody to, you know, to talk to and to laugh with and to just, you know, the things that you can't get from your friends that you can only get from your partner. That's what this is about. It's about not being alone. It's about being with somebody who, whose soul is like yours, that you, your spirits are supposed to be together because you bring value to each other. So don't play games. Please don't. And if you need any help with any of this stuff, I am so on this. This is very important to me. Relationships are what you bring forward into the next life. You don't bring any, you don't bring your cars, you don't bring your money, you don't bring your Rolex. You bring nothing but love into the next life. So if you can't get it right here, I'm worried about you. Okay. So look at all the, the links on my on in the description of this video and you um and we can uh definitely uh get you going and get you on the right track. So that's it. No, I love you all. It's the Just F Rules of Dating. Stay tuned. For next next week, I'll have more. So it's the Just F Rules of Dating. Tell me what's going on in your life. I want to hear from you. Wishing you love, balance, and peace. Ciao, ciao, baby. Love you.